Hello kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shivani. How are you guys doing on this wonderful Wednesday? I hope you're doing great. So today is thank you day on our ABC countdown to summer. And I just wanted to take a minute before we started our skills lesson to say thank you so much to all of you who have done such amazing work during our closure, uh, during our online learning, I should say. Um, Parents, thank you for supporting your kids. They truly could not have done this without you. Kindergartners cannot log on to computers by themselves and type in their passwords and do all of that. I mean, maybe some of you can by now because you're almost first graders, huh? But I'm sure when we started in March, this was new for everybody. So I just want to say thank you to all of the parents who have been dedicated throughout this whole process and have been and um, supporting your kids, you truly um, have helped them learn so much. So you should be proud of yourselves. And I know I am so grateful. And thank you kiddos for working so, so hard too. We only have a few days left and I'm excited to end the year on a really good note. Although I'm sad to say goodbye, but not yet, next week. All right. So today in skills, we just have a quick lesson. Again, today we have a quick read aloud, and then I'll show you our Google game for the day, and it's a good one. I think you'll like it. So today we're going to read a book called Lunch Trades. What do you think that book is going to be about? I wonder. And in the book, you're going to see a lot of um, different uh, points for um, exclamation marks, or you're going to see some or stop signs, or you're going to see some question marks. And we call those three things different punctuation marks. So we might use a period or if the sentence is just over. Nothing too exciting in that sentence. It's just over. And then it tells us to go then to the next sentence. You might see a question mark. And that would tell us that it's asking a question. The sentence is asking a question. And you might see a yes, an exclamation point. And that means that we need to read that with expression. That's something exciting. All right. So let's watch out for those different punctuation marks as we uh, read this story. All right. Okay, here we go. Lunch trades. Dave checks his lunch bag. No, exclamation point. So I'm gonna read that like this. No, he fumes. Oh, that means he's mad. It's ham. I ate ham all week. Read with expression, another exclamation point. Will you trade Ling? Question mark, will you trade Ling? Ooh, what does it mean to trade? It means to switch, right? switch. So Dave wants to give Ling his sandwich and he wants to eat, looks like Ling's hot dog. Mm. He's feeling kind of grumpy because he ate ham all week. He doesn't want to keep eating. I'll trade my hot dog, Ling says, but not my chips. Will you trade your lunch, Scott? I will trade, Scott says, but you will not like what mom gave me. Oh no, what did mom give him? Let's see the next page. Why, asked Ling, another question mark. What's in your bag? So if I just read that like, why, ask Ling, what's in your bag? It doesn't really sound like I'm reading with expression, right? It sounds like I'm reading like a robot. Why, asks Sling, what's in your bag? Read with expression. A fishbone, a lump of fat, and a wet sock, says Scott. How would you feel if that was in your lunch? I'm not sure if I'd want a wet sock. No to all of those, says Ling. Ugh, says Dave. No trade. As, oh, so here's another exclamation point. Ugh, says Dave. No trade. As Ling and Dave trade, Scott keeps his bag. He does not tell Ling and Dave what he has in his bag. He has chips, ham, a bun, and a bunch of red grapes. Scott likes all of the things in his bag. 
he will not trade them. <gasps> so Scott tricked them, huh? He didn't want to trade anything that was in his lunch bag. So he told them he had a fish bone and a lump of fat and a wet sock so that they wouldn't want to trade. But really, he had a delicious lunch. <laughs> that was kind of clever, huh? <laughs> that was a funny story. You guys did a nice job reading that book with expression. A really nice job. Good work. All right, let me jump on over now. I'll share my screen with you on Google Classroom. And I'll show you what we're going to be working on today. It's rhyming. So let me share that with you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to classwork. And I'm going to go down here to rhyming and lunch trades. That's our um, game today. So in my classroom, we say rhyming words sound the same at the end. So can you copy me? Ready? Rhyming words sound the same at the end. One more time. Rhyming words sound the same at the end. Rhyming words sound the same at the end. Yes. So that's how you know a word rhymes. So here's what you're going to do to play this game. I'm going to reset it here. Drag and drop this um, circle with the cross um, on it over the picture that doesn't belong. Okay, so first here's what you have to do. Think. Rhyming words sound the same at the end. So you're listening for all of the potential words that could rhyme. Let's look at these pictures. Van. Fan pot. Let's try that again. Van, fan, pan, pin. Van, fan, pan, pin. Pin doesn't rhyme. And here's what you might have to do. You see how at first I called this a pot? And then I thought, Mm, okay, what could I call it that would rhyme with van and fan? Oh, another word for this could be pan. So you might make that mistake a few times and you might have to call things um, something else. Think of something else to call them. So there's only one thing that doesn't rhyme because in every single one of these squares, there's only going to be one picture that doesn't rhyme, not two. Okay, let's do the next one together. I'm going to drag that back so it's reset for you guys to play. Let's do one more. Rhyming words sound the same at the end. Bat, pig, hat. Pig doesn't rhyme. That ends in ig. And these other three ended in at. At, ig, not rhyming words. All right, you guys see how to play that now? Okay, there's a bunch of them here for you, about 15. So go through them all. And just like I made a mistake at the beginning, if you do too and you notice there's two that don't rhyme, try naming it something else, okay? And make sure that there's only one that doesn't rhyme. All right, guys, have so much fun playing this game. I can't wait to see. Um, I love to click through every single one. Remember, uh, it's not just the one page. There's 15 pages. You don't have to do all 15 if you don't want to. I mean, if you only want to do 10 or so, like something like that, if you're getting a little tired, that's okay. Um, but if you're going quick and you're having fun, keep on going, all right? We'll do this again. I think I have this on the schedule again for next week too. All right, you guys, thank you for reading with me today. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And again, thank you so much for all your support. It is, um, it's been a journey, that's for sure, but we are so thankful and we could not have done this without you parents. All right, love you kiddos, bye.